Hey everybody, welcome back. Carter Skradsky then 345. This is just a little update. If you haven't know, uh, I have two mice, Bub and Lightning, and I've had them since not last Christmas, but the Christmas before that. So about a year and three fourths, or not three fourths, a year and one fourth. Here in two fourths about that. Bubba died. Uh, about he died Friday, and a week before that, before he died, I think we will. I think he might have been in a fight with lightning, and he, my mom and me and my dad thought maybe he was blind, or something happened to his eyes because he was very strangely acting and he could eat and everything just fine but then like if you if you hold a chip a little yogurt chip to the other one they'll like come up and try to grab it but if you hold it by him he just is spazzing out and looking in all directions so he died buried him in the backyard and lightning's kind of alone i'm guessing because mice are live around two years so I don't think lightning has that much longer in him. Uh, other updates, tapioca is the best best pudding ever. If you don't agree with that, just get out of here. Tybalt, still doing fine. I don't know if you can see him. Put that little fur ball right above my finger. There's Ty. And I got a pet turtle. He is a painted turtle. And he's quite small. If you guys want a video just on him, how to take care of him, comment down below. But also comment names. He needs a name and can't really think of one. So comment down below. And if you look pre back on previous videos, I have done Zippo Lighter Care. Uh, where is my... I do not know where my lighter is. Or my Zippo. Here it is. So this is what I did it on. One of my grandpa's seats needs some fluid right now. But, so it's not used. It's all clean and stuff. Super nice. It just needs a little fluid. So right now my dad has his grandpa's right here. This is, he used to work in the mine. So he got this from mining. And my dad wanted me to clean it up. So, I already re-oiled it. I refueled it. So it's white up right away. It doesn't blow out. So what I'm going to do is get some Q-tips. Three should be significant. Here, should suffice. No. Also got a new hat. Browning. I like gray. So there's no really good way to polish this up with my materials, so I'm just gonna keep the rustic look to it. You wanna open it up, make sure it's not hot, and flip this up and pull it out. So now you got the base, and if you watch that, you just, you just put it in there you might want to fluff it up a little bit this is just to clean it and get all the grime out you want to do this every once in a while change the wick not too hard of a job Ooh, that is tight just put that you want to run it around in the chimney Since this is really old, I'm going to get some pliers and pull the wick up a little bit. See if I can do that. I pulled it up a little bit too much. See if I can put her back in there. Nah, no, it'll be fine. So now we pulled the wick up. We need our cutters. 
and we want to cut it flush with the top of the chimney. Bam. Now you got a nice new white wick. Now you want to just take your another Q-tip, run it along the edges, just get it all cleaned up. You gotta make sure the wick is suspended in the middle so it's not touching any of the walls. Put the lever down, clean behind there. Brush off the inner case. Just keep away from children. And right here, as you can see, if you didn't know, all Zippos are made out of brass or copper. I can't remember which one. I'm pretty sure brass. Like this. And if you can tell, this is chrome, not brass. But actually, it's just chrome plated. See in there, the brass color that matches this. So this case looks exactly like this. It's just coated. And same with this one, same with my other one. You can see it's still the brass color, just it's coated. So that's how you know Zippo from a fake. And it should say Zippo on the bottom, but sometimes they don't. So you wanna get your Q-tip nice and fluffed, clean out the chamber for the lever in the roof. To fluff up your Q-tip. So you can see it's a little bit dirty. Then last Q-tip right here. I don't think we need to use that one. We can just use the other side of this one. Really fluffed it up. So you want to just of that in the bottom chamber. Try to get all the dirt out. Bam! You got a clean zipper lighter. If you want to know how to do it more all in depth, go to Zippo Lighter Care. as a video previously. And she lights up. And if you, you just need to get a quick light, this will work for a little bit of time. You can just take your thing and then pour the fluid right under the wick. Bam. Evolution of the Zippo. That is it. That is it. Comment below turtle names. Future videos you want to see. Pretty much it. See you on the next one, buddies. Boy.